Hi everyone. You've probably noticed that nowadays people care about nature way more than before. We're talking about new eco-friendly means of transport, paper bags and the desire of saving rare animals. So people do their best to make our home planet a little happier. Sometimes they even build eco-friendly houses instead of terrifying glass and concrete skyscrapers. So today, we're going to show you 15 eco-friendly houses. Let's get it on. The Great Wall in Australia Can you imagine a house made entirely of earth? No, 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 we're not talking about ancient buildings. This one is quite a modern project. The Australian company Luigi Rosselli Architects made it real by building the most eco-friendly houses you can imagine for seasonal workers on a remote rancho. They're made entirely from sandy clay, but don't you think that these are just holes in the ground? On the contrary, all the houses are very cozy. Each one of them has its own terrace and there's a common green patio for all of them. But you must be wondering why it's known as the Great Wall. Well, it resembles a wall because of its 980 foot long facade. Actually, the whole construction looks like a masterpiece of some famous designer and not like a temporary home for workers. Of course, they are still far from being cute and cozy hobbit holes, but we believe J.R.R. Tolkien and Peter Jackson inspired the creators of this wall. Cliff House Have you ever dreamt about living in a house with an ocean view? Then we have a place just for you. Just imagine it. This luxurious palace known as Cliff House was built right on a cliff near San Francisco. This house appeared in 1863 when it was just a small restaurant. Sometime after, a famous millionaire bought this hotspot and turned it into a nice resort area. It was all going really well until one day, a few years later, a fire destroyed the building. But do you think that saddened the millionaire? No. Hell no. He built it again, and this time he made it even bigger. Eventually, he built a real castle with towers, spires, and other medieval stuff. Well, except for a crocodile ditch. The new house got a cute nickname, Gingerbread Castle, but then again, something went wrong with the fire safety measures. Nowadays, the cliff house is made from fire-resisting armored concrete, and it's still very popular popular, in part thanks to its incredible view over the Pacific Ocean. Urban Treehouse People that live in big cities often want to move somewhere near to nature to hear the birds singing and be closer to the beautiful trees. At the same time, they're not willing to give up all the perks of living in a metropolis. The German architecture firm Baurraum solved this problem in quite an unusual way by building tree houses right in the middle of a big park near Berlin. There are only two houses. They're really close to the town and at the same time, green grass and beautiful flowers surround them. And we're not joking. These buildings even resemble trees. Well, a pretty modern tree covered with iron sheets. Their bases look like angular tree bodies and the living space is several feet above the ground, just like foliage. Inside, it has everything for a comfortable living. A bed, a living room, a bathroom, and even an open terrace where you can drink your morning coffee watching the cute little squirrels and birdies hanging around. Earth Houses Swiss architect Peter Virch created these houses, and they're equipped with everything a modern house must have. In general, they're not different from a spacious cottage, with only one exception. They're located right in the ground. Nowadays, there are 47 such houses all over the world, all created by this architect. When designing his works, he tries to avoid right angles and makes his building perfect to save energy. So these gentle curves that might remind you of chewing gum aren't just a pointless idea. It's a solution of the architect to save our environment. And well, it's a bizarre designer idea too. You know, not that often you feel like the ceiling is going to start dropping over your head. Glass House How do you like this glass house in the middle of a forest on a mountain? Looks unusual, doesn't it? Somehow it resembles an aquarium, although not for people, but for woodmen. It was designed by Kazakh architect Ibek Almasov, who has been dreaming of bringing this idea to life for about five years now. He thinks that people must have the opportunity to get out of their concrete boxes in the city to reunite with nature. According to him, this tubular house is the perfect solution to find harmony with the world around. Sure thing, how can you not with a real tree in the middle of the house? The the building has double glass walls and metal poles supporting it. And of course, this transparent house in the middle of a forest is equipped with all the latest energy efficient technologies. Solar batteries, a geothermal heating system, and a special condition.
conditioning system. Probably the only thing lacking is a special little door for all the little squirrels and the hedgehogs. A waterfall house. In the Pennsylvania forests, there's a little path walked every year by thousands of tourists wanting to see this incredible house, known as Falling Water, built back in 1935. The building is located right on the rocks and looks like it's growing from them. The interior is also well thought through. Classy furniture, a natural stone floor, expensive carpets, a chimney. From the living room, you can go to the balcony, which is almost hanging over the waterfall. The guest quarters feature a spring-fed swimming pool. There's only one little defect. This construction needs constant repair. From time to time, the rooms get too wet. In the summer, the bedrooms heat up too much. Nowadays, nobody's living in this house because for 50 years now, it's been a museum and property of the state. Lake Crest Villa where else can you build a fabulous villa in the woods if not in Canada? This residence, known as Lake Crest, is located at the top of a cliff on the shores of a mountain lake. It perfectly fits its surroundings. It actually looks like a mansion with an area of 5,000 square feet, grew by itself in the middle of this Canadian forest. Of course, it's not like that, but looking at the perfect relationship between the rocky landscape and the building, we want to believe that it's the work of nature, and all this thanks to ecological materials, a great design, and the love of the architects to the environment. Fuji Kindergarten In 2007, Japanese architects Yui and Takaharu Tezuka built the Fuji Kindergarten in the Tokyo suburbs without taking down a single tree. The building looks like a big ring standing among the green territory. In 2001, the architects came back to this place and added a new pavilion, and this time they built an unusual glass and bulb-shaped building around a tree. In this place, there are no tables or chairs, but instead there's a lot of place to play, and on top of that, you can climb any branch you want. Treehouse did you ever wish to live in a treehouse? Then welcome to Hemloft. This isn't a silly branch construction, but a real house with everything you need, although it is a little bit small. The building was at first a secret project, and only the owner of the house and his friends knew about it. It took a long time to find the right place, because there are a lot of limits and recommendations when it comes to building such a place. For several months, the owner of this unusual house studied the place to find the perfect tree, and in the end, found it on the Whistler Mountain. By the way, this is not only a place to sleep, you can also cook some meals and relax with all the comfort in the world. 25 Green no, this is not a chaotic bunch of metal and bricks overgrown by grass, neither an abandoned construction site. On the contrary, this is a real design project. The building is located in Turin, Italy, and it's a fantastic house on a tree. The steel construction is surrounded by roots which literally grow among the balconies. Artificial ponds flow between the fundaments of the building, and splendid gardens fill the roof of the house. It's a very unusual house, and it looks a little bit untidy because of the artificial rust color. Nevertheless, there are 63 flats inside, and to be honest, they are quite expensive. Divergence House how can you build a house in the wild without taking down a single tree? These guys from Bangkok know the answer. You just have to create a building with special holes for the trunks. And if that doesn't work in some places, just move the house a little to the side so the plants will be left outside. Yeah, it sounds a little bit tricky and somewhat crazy, but you have to be ready to do anything to save the environment. Hyla Architects House on the outside, this three-story house looks very plain and simple, but on the inside, this unusual building is filled with hanging gardens. All over the place, you can find beautiful plumeria flowers from a very gloomy and fragrant but capricious plant. On the first floor, there's an inside patio with a small waterfall, and on the second floor, all along the fantabulous living room, there are thin young trees. But that wasn't enough for the designers, who placed wild flora even in the bathrooms. Trees Behind Glass it's very easy to plant trees in big and open spaces inside the house, if you have a place with a comfortable and warm weather, of course. But what about people living in regions where the snow and sub-zero temperatures are usual? 
Some architects from West Virginia have found a solution by placing old pines in closed glass boxes. The result is quite amazing, and it meant no harm to the trees. The designers even lifted the home to give the roots more space to breathe. Hopefully, they also come up with some cool ideas for the people living there. Library Tree this unusual villa is located in some town in Israel. The building stands out for its spacious rooms with almost no decoration. And in this minimalistic place, everything is made from ecological and clean materials. On top of that, the cottage is filled with green gardens, stones and moss. But that's not all. Right in the middle of the fabulous library grows a huge tree. And we're not talking about a little bush, but a real wide branching plant with a trunk, leaves and everything house without borders. We all know that the Japanese are true masters when it comes to combining architecture and nature, but this house is beyond anything you might imagine. Not only because it consists of several living spaces together with a bunch of beautiful Japanese gardens, but also because it's a house without borders. Sometimes gravel and moss can end up filling a room, while other times a sofa can end up in the middle of the bushes. This surely is the most vivid and amazing example of working along with nature in our list. And would you like to live in such a house? Guys, it's time to recharge your brain. Visit the channel Brain Time. There you'll find a lot of interesting and useful facts, lots of positive energy, and tons of useful information. Subscribe right now. We promise it's going to be really exciting. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks, and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.